Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to calculate cash received from customers in accounting. If you're new, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, and what we're doing is we're working on principles of accounting. I've got articles, videos, this is part of a playlist. And so we're working on chapter 12, the statement of cash flows. So the statement of cash flows, remember, has operating, investing, financing activities. And when we get to the different methods for the operating activities, we can do direct and indirect. Indirect would have net income plus or minus adjustments and direct we need cash receipts and cash payments. Now that sounds easy, but it's kind of a challenge because we're using the accrual system of accounting and so we have sales and we have accounts receivable and things like that. So we need to back in to find what is our cash received from customers. Or sometimes this can be called cash received from sales. Now we want to look for a sales number like sales revenue or total revenue or revenue. All those mean the same thing. And so we need to find sales and we need to find beginning accounts receivable and ending accounts receivable. And so here's our little format we're going to use to calculate cash received from customers. We're going to take our sales and then plus or minus the change in accounts receivable and we'll get cash received from customers. I've got two examples, one where accounts receivable goes up and one where accounts receivable goes down. So you can see how it works for both examples. Now our sales are 450,000 for company A. And what is the change in accounts receivable? Well, the change in accounts receivable, let me just take the big number, subtract out the small number. And so we have 4,100 is our change in accounts receivable. Now, what makes our accounts receivable go up? Well, the beginning accounts receivable is 24,000, and it uh, grew during the year to ending accounts receivable of 28,100, an additional 4,100. What makes the accounts receivable go up? Well, when we make our initial sales, we debit accounts receivable and we credit sales. So accounts receivable goes up and sales go up. So what's happened is we have an increase in the accounts receivable. It means we haven't collected all the cash. So we have more sales than we do cash receipts. So we need to subtract this number. So what I'm gonna do is take the beginning number minus the ending number and I'll get a negative number. And then I'm just gonna add this up so our cash received from customers is the 480,000 minus the increase of accounts receivable. So we only collected 475,900 in this case. We haven't quite collected all our sales. We collected all the 480 except for the extra 4,100 that our accounts receivable grew. We have accounts receivable instead of cash. So hopefully, at the beginning of next year, then we'll have uh, those that cash come in and so our accounts receivable would go down. Now let's look at company B. Company B would be 750,000 is our sales and our accounts receivable goes down. So let me just copy it across and see if that works. If I take the, if I take the first number, 37,000 minus the 30,800. Now, is that going to be correct? So our account receivable goes from 37 down to 30,800. It means we collected not only the 750, but also 6,200 more. So our total cash received is a little bit more than the 750. It's going to be 756,200. So this is always how you do cash received from customers. If our accounts receivable grows, it means our, we have less cash. If our accounts receivable goes down, it means we have a little bit more cash than our sales.